Hello everyone, this is Gemini Jets 1975 coming at you with a very special video. Today I will be doing my uh, Airliners 2023 at DFW uh, Hall. So, uh, let's get started. But first, um, if there is a an item in this video you want me to make a more detailed video of... Uh, like a review or something, let me know in the comments. Uh, also, it was, you know, it was really amazing meeting all of you. Um, and if you did not get a chance to go and you wish you did, then uh, sign up or start making plans for 2024 in Kansas City because it'll probably be even better and bigger than DFW was. So, uh, Red River Aviation already, uh, posted some information that they, they said that DFW was the largest convention to date. So let's see if we can make 2024 even better and bigger. So anyway, guys, so let's get started. Uh, I'm going to start off. I got a couple t-shirts here. There's uh, Braniff International uh, with Big Orange. And then, let's see, underneath that is the uh, Delta L1011, uh, Delta Get You There. So, if you, if you like airline t-shirts, there was an excellent vendor there that uh, you could get pretty much, you know, most major airlines that uh, you could think of. So, um, okay, so next I got, we have the timetables. I didn't get as many as I had originally planned, but uh, that's okay because I found other stuff. So we have Pan Am, the 60-year anniversary, and another Pan Am. Um, then we got Eastern there's Eastern from 1982, Northwest from 92, here is People Express, this was after the Frontier merger, Continental 84, United 92, Braniff, um, 79, June 1st, TWA from, where are we at here, here we are, 1965, okay, Braniff, this is January of 82, this was in the goodie bag, um, traded the one I got with, uh, JJ Skippy, I got a Western, uh, this is Brana from 78. This was actually not long after the um, Airline Deregulation Act, which is the main reason I wanted to get that one. JetBlue from 2003. I was hoping it was 2004, but that's okay. ValueJet, uh, 95. I think this is, you might as well say this is a duplicate, unfortunately. Braniff 88. Braniff 89. Braniff 89. Here's another value jet, 96. Okay, last but not least, we have Delta 85, service to Paris. Okay, so now I'm going to do the models. So, uh, I mean, obviously at some point I plan to do reviews of these, so um, I'm not really going to necessarily unbox them. Uh, we have the Delta 763, guys, uh, in the widget. Oh, very, very nice. I'm going to pretend it's an ER. 
don't really care. Uh, <laughs> Copa 738 in the anniversary livery. The wing flex on this really isn't all that bad. Very glad to get that. Uh, Gemini Judge, this is the Trump Shuttle. Very cool. Been wanting one of those for a long time. Uh, the JetBlue A220. Again, um, the wing flex really wasn't that bad. This is actually a really nice model. Then we have the updated uh, Trump 757. The updated livery. Okay. Then we have the United 753. Must have. Okay. Then we have the Delta 764. Again, very beautiful model. Very, very nice. Okay, next we have the um, American 789. As you can see, I already have the 788, so definitely needed to get the 789. And this is in the updated JC mold, so it doesn't have the crazy wing flex. Okay. So now we have the Panda JetBlue A220 in the spotlight tail. I mean, I'm sorry, A320. Wow, I can't believe I said that. The JetBlue A320 in the spotlight tail by Panda with sharklets. Uh, Aviation JXXX, uh, feast your eyes on that one. Sorry about that, big guy. Here is the uh, Aero Classics Braniff Lockheed Electra. And then... We have the Southwest Herbert D. Kelleher uh, retro gold livery in the uh, with the Max 8. So this one is far and above as far as color goes better than the Gemini. I was extremely disappointed in the Gemini. Uh, but, that, you know, it is what it is. All right. Now we have the Contour E145. Okay, so let me do this big box that I'm sure all of you are wondering, looking at it. All right, so I saw this thing and my jaw dropped and everyone that was with me was like, oh my God, you're gonna ha you have to get that. So this was made by Dragon Wings. It is a 1 to 144 scale cutaway model of Braniff's Big Orange. So, yeah, that that's just the coolest thing I've ever seen. Um, oops, that didn't really help. Okay, so right here, guys, we've got, you know, it would sit on a stand. I'm probably going to have it on the landing gear. You can see inside the engines the wing inside the cabin and there's the nose so uh if you want me to do you know like an unboxing or a separate review on this uh please let me know okay so let me put this down because i've got a ton of other stuff that i need to put my phone down here Okay, guys, so I did, I went absolutely bonkers on uh, postcards. I got some airport postcards. There's Tulsa, Charlotte. Uh, I think this actually, I thought this was Charlotte, but it's not. It's actually Denver Stapleton. Uh, DFW in the very, very early days. Denver International. Uh, see, this is actually Memphis, Orlando, Tampa, Oklahoma City, Pittsburgh, Albuquerque, Indianapolis. So, yeah, if you want to see, you know, and here's an early DFW also. If you, uh, if you want to see more detailed videos on these, just obviously comment um, in the comments. So now... We've got the airline postcards. All right, these are, I have them divided by airline. 
So let's do we got Delta. So we got, you know, various. Most of these were airline issued. Actually, they probably all were. And I think the most, the airline with the most postcards is probably Braniff. Sure, a lot of you aren't surprised by that. But, yeah. So, again, you know, if you want to see a more detailed video, just let me know. Uh, now we have United. So I got quite a few Uniteds. There was a packet that they put inside of the goodie bag that they gave you when, you know, you register or not when you register because you, you pre-register, but when you, you know, signed in and told them that you were there and all that good stuff. It was just really cool. So we got TWA. There was a pack of TWA that I got at this particular vendor. Very cool. Lots of cool history there. And of course I had to get some American. Red River Aviation, there's your MD-80. The second MD-80, but yeah, very, very cool. A300. Yes. Uh, Eastern, Continental, Western, Alaska. Sorry I'm going through these so fast, but, you know, just kind of a, let's see, more Alaska. Piedmont, Fokker 27. I think, whoa, what airport is that at? What does it say? Um, oh, yep, it's that's the Fokker 27 in Atlanta. I thought I recognized the, the red paneling there from Atlanta. Pan Am, got quite a few Pan Am. Uh, JJ Skippy, here's your North Central. Reno Air, also JJ Skippy. New York Air, Republic. Oh, let me put these down. All right. Frontier. That's a picture. Air France. Ozark. British Airways. This one was at DFW, actually. Sun Country. Oh, so. There are the... Probably over a hundred postcards. I didn't really count. But yes. Oh wait, I didn't even... Presidential Airways. Hmm. Hawaiian. Northwest. JetBlue. So yes. Those are the postcards. Alright. Now... We have... Oops. Now we have this Braniff book. Now, there was a Braniff... Oh, wow. Braniff history exhibit, display, what have you, at Airliners. And they were selling this book. And there's some really cool pictures in here that, you know, I've never really seen before. So, again, if you want to... Uh, you know, see a more detailed video of this book, just let me know. But yes, brand of history. All right, and then finally, we have the magazines. Um, this is a brand of special brand of flying colors issue from 1992 okay right here kind of a uh, there's from 1988 so we have midway the original midway sun country america west 
this is actually a pretty cool issue. I believe there is a America West route map right here. You can't really see it because of the glare, but yes. Very cool. And then, let's see, Revolution. Anyway, so if you want to see a, uh, obviously, detailed video on any of these magazines or any item in this set this one right here is a this was basically the year after pan am shut down so a special i guess commemorative article on the original pan am it, the whole thing's not about pan am i do have one of those though okay this one is was in the goodie bag also a Delta safety card 753. Okay, this was in the goodie pack. All right, this right here was from 2021, celebrating, well, commemorating 30 years since uh, the original Pan Am's demise. This entire issue is about Pan Am. So, if you want to see a video again, let me know. And then also, this one actually is mostly about, well, there's an article about Kenya Airways. Uh, this is 1995. Um, but there's also a big pictorial article about the 747 SP. So... Very cool. Very happy to have found those. Some of these I've been looking for on eBay for a while. And uh, sometimes you just can't find stuff. But anyway, guys, that basically takes care of the first airliners haul video. Um, so, again, guys, thank you very much. Uh, I really truly enjoyed meeting all of you that were there and hopefully if you were not there this time you will go to 2024 in uh kansas city and i'll get to meet you guys and then of course those of you that went uh this time around hopefully you guys will also go to uh kansas city so anyways uh it, it was an experience to say the least uh amazing and it was great meeting everyone and very nice to find all these goodies so i hope you enjoyed uh look forward to your comments on this video and returning to you know my old ways of regular uploads and i hope to you know, bring to a new group of people, you know, some great content that I really enjoy making, and I hope you guys enjoy watching. So thank you guys. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe. And of course, I will see you guys in the next video.